Welcome to um, Earth Demo, Earth Systems Demo number three. And we're going to take a look here at what I'm doing. I built these three buttons on the side, and you know, they pull up these three different regions. And from here, I'm building these options here. I just, I just finished putting this in here. Make a log refresh delay. I also added a timer. And through this timer, I've added uh, a bit of code here. I put this in, and that's going to um, refresh um, the log history. That's what it's going to do. But then that's going to have a 20. But I was just thinking that instead of having a 20 here, I want to build it so that I have an entry in here saying. It's going to say um, It's going to say log um, It's going to say log uh, Log history Length Right And then it's going to copy this one here Stick it down there so I'm lazy Stick that in Now it's set for 20. But I'm gonna have it so that any entry in this value gets set to this value here. So this is actually gonna be what this edit box. So I'm gonna call this one. I've been making everything very cryptic, and I'm not. I don't mind. I, I can actually decode. See, I've been calling these just like you know, I'll call these ones like DE ones, right? I want that. I've been doing all these little code things lately, and they don't even make sense. So I've just been doing all my all my components and these little codes, and, and I don't mind it. But I don't know if I, don't know if I should do that anymore. <laughs> if someone else read it, they won't know what the fuck's going on. But to me, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fucked up. But I'm gonna call this one. Uh, actually, this one's gonna be E one. This one here is going to be uh, E. -E. E, e one, E two. All right. And this one's going to be E, -E one. There we go. Okay. Like from there, this here is going to be the value. It's going to be E. -E dot text but I can't I gotta convert that to an integer so it's um, string to int and then this that will make it work <sighs> okay and let's just check it out okay and from there what we have to do next is make it so that when this value is changed, so like that changes to an on submit value, and the code that is entered in there is going to be updated. And I'm going to put that same line I just put the other bit. Or where I put that, I forget. Here, uh, if I got it. my code here really quick here. I know I was just typing somewhere. I just kind of figure out here. I'm looking for that, that line here. Yeah, this here. The timer. Yeah, that's right. I put this code here. Read in the button event that takes place or the on submit. I'm gonna place it right here. Boom. That's going to force the unupdate to happen. But I also need it so that this text box gets. Oh, by default it's 20 though, which is kind of cool. So I'm just going to hotwire this one to 20. That way it's 
is this default? There is no default. Default zero. That's right. I'm gonna set that. Default is gonna be. Default is gonna be twenty. change that too. All these twenties that change bro. Hmm. <laughs> okay that's demo number uh, three of Earth Systems. I'm just gonna finish up here. And if you wanna get a hold of me, uh, burn data at Hotmail.